What's up, weirdos? Welcome back into Movement Parallels Life. I'm so happy to have you here. Today's practice is going to be suitable for all levels. We're going to go through five movement patterns, 60 second intervals, two consecutive rounds. Let's jump right in. We'll start off on hands and knees, flowing through some spinal movements. Move mindfully, paying attention to the sensations in your body and coordinating your movements with your breathing. Inhale as you arch your spine. Exhale as you round. You might also begin rocking forward and backward as you flex and extend your spine, creating a rolling wave. For one final variation, try these thoracic rotations, three to four per side. Place your hand lightly on the back of your head and rotate open, taking your gaze to the ceiling. Next, we'll transition to a foot hand position for a crawling march. Keep your arms locked out, spine long and knees low as you perform a soft alternating march, lifting your opposite hand and foot. And as you march, maintain deep breathing and a relaxed face. For an additional variation that requires extra strength and stability, try extending your opposite arm and leg with each lift. For our next movement, we've got alternating pass under transitions. From your crawl position, find that same opposite hand foot balance, then rotate away from your support arm passing under to an inverted crawl position. As you complete each movement, pause for a moment to find your stability and take a breath, then seamlessly cycle into the next transition. We'll meet in the inverted crawl position and spend the next cycle working through shifting, hip lifts, and reaching. Set up a strong position with your arms locked out and shoulder blades depressed as you begin shifting your weight forward and backward. In addition, you can begin to layer in hip lifts. As you drive your hips into full extension up towards the ceiling, feel the strong engagement of your glutes and hamstrings. You might also begin to incorporate alternating overhead reaches. From your inverted position, lower your hips to the floor and we'll move on to our next pattern, a rock up into a side sit. Maintain the tension through your abdominals and back, allowing you to maintain a rounded shape for a smooth rocking action. Use your momentum to rock up into a side sit position and then rotate your hips from side to side. Have a little bit of fun playing with this combination movement and make it your own.
Round one is complete, and we're going to cycle right back through for a second round, starting with knee hand spinal articulation. Incorporate thoracic rotations, spinal waves, or any variations that feel best for your body. Transition back to the alternating crawl balance march. As you lift your opposite hand and foot off the ground, allow the limbs to relax for a moment before you replace the hand and foot and switch sides. Maintain your stability by keeping your core braced and actively pressing your locked out arm and support foot into the floor. And as you recruit the strength to stay stable, don't forget to maintain deep relaxed breathing. From the balancing crawl march, move right into alternating passenger transitions. Slow yourself down a little bit so you can focus on making the transition as smooth and controlled as possible. And with each transition, remember to actively press your locked out arm through the floor to maintain shoulder stability. Transition to your inverted crawl position and we're back to shifting, hip lifts, and bridge reaching. Breathe with your movements, exhaling as you shift your weight forward, lift your hips, or extend into a reach. And one additional variation that you might incorporate is this alternating diagonal reach. And finally, lower your hips to the floor and we'll complete this second round with our combination pattern, the rock up to side sit. And this time around, you might also incorporate a rise up to kneeling from the side sit position. Once again, have some fun here as you move mindfully and find some flow with these patterns.
Our second round is complete. Excellent work. Now make your way into a side sit position and we'll finish up this practice with some ground stretches. Set up the position with strength and intention. Hinge forward and sweep from side to side. Switch sides on your side sit. Bring your back leg forward to transition into a cross sit stretch. Breathe deeply and gently pulse in and out of a forward fold. Switch sides on your cross sit. Next, make your way into an alternating half kneeling stretch. Step out and hold your next stretch. Switch sides one more time and hold the stretch. And while we're finishing up today, I want to share a few insights. The ground-based movement practices that you'll find on this channel are meant to be a fun and easy way to keep your body moving, to keep your muscles supple and your joints moving through a full range of motion. And really the bigger picture behind all of this is bridging the gap between your everyday life and your fitness goals, staying free of pain and injuries, continuing to make progress, and aging gracefully. I know that when you make moving in these ways a daily practice, you'll see the benefits and you'll feel the benefits both in terms of performance and longevity. So if you enjoyed the movement today, you can show some love by hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and checking out the link to my training app where you can get access to a wide array of classes and programs to keep moving differently. The link is down below in the description. So that's it for today. I'm out of here, but thank you so much for coming to move with me. I appreciate you. Take good care of yourself. Keep on flowing. Stay weird, and I'll see you in the next practice.